All right guys, so I have been waiting a long time to try one of these guitars. I finally got to borrow one. And uh, it is so cool and so inspiring. Check that out. This thing is awesome. Yo, let's write some music. So I do want to start off by saying this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm borrowing this guitar from the guys over at Novo. Um, I just know someone who works over there, Travis. What's up, buddy? And I went over to the shop the other day and was checking out all the different guitars, and they had some of these guitars hanging on the wall. Like this was a prototype uh, that they made of this model, which is called the Solus. Now I don't know a lot about the specs or any of that kind of stuff, so I'm going to link that all down below for you if you want to really get into that side of stuff. But I played a bunch of them. Like, man, these are all really good. And then we came to this one. Actually, I played a, uh, it was one that was basically kind of like a, like a Tele style with like a normal Tele style pickup in it. And I played, I'm like, I really like this. And I go, do you have any that's just like with a single P90? And he's like, we do. And then Travis handed me this one and I strummed it. And I'm like, wow, this thing is so loud and resonant. It, um, it kind of blew me away. And I was like, oh, can I can I take this one home? Like, I didn't even plug it into an amp or anything. Like, I just, I, I, I could feel the vibrations through it. I could hear how acoustically big it sounded. I'm like, can I take this one home for a little bit? So um, they let me borrow this and I've had it here for a while. And uh, I thought, well, why don't, why don't I make a video about it? Just as a thank you for them letting me take this home. But um, now when I finally plugged it in at home, I realized something right away. It's a total fire breather. <laughs> I was like, oh, this thing's like, it, it means business. Overall, my first impression of the guitar was the neck caught my attention. That's really what, what got me to it. And it is just such a light guitar. I think these are made out of pine. So you don't see that a lot. And uh, the rap tail bridge, it has so many, you know, Les Paul Jr. kind of like vibes going on. Where's my Les Paul Jr. at? Watch, probably all my cameras are out of focus now. It, it's crazy how heavy this thing is, which is kind of light, you know, in the, in the Les Paul realm but this thing is, is different. So uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but why don't we compare these here a little bit real quick. One of the things that always speaks to me about a guitar is if it inspires me to play musically something different. I, and I just feel like that's what all guitars should be. They're all just tools to make, you, make music. So when I picked this one up, I wrote that intro riff right away. It was weird and it's like, you know, note choices I don't normally use and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, this guitar is good. And I, I know this guitar is not even for sale. Even if I wanted to buy it, um, which I wouldn't mind having this one, uh, I can't. This is a, a prototype that they made. But um, and isn't it funny how like you, you play a guitar and you're like, why did it make me play that? Like, that's not what I would normally play. And I think that's the sign of a good guitar. And then I, when I did this thing, It was all very foreign to me and I just did it. I'm like, oh, this guitar just has this like darkness to it. It's, it's a, it's a, it's had a bad life. It's a dark guitar. It's, um, it's just cool. So I've got a lot of distortion. I'll, I'll tame the distortion here in a second for you. But, um, yeah, let's hear both of these with a, a higher distortion real quick. <laughs> Thank you. 
I definitely like the neck on that Novo a lot better. The feel of it, yeah. Uh, tone, they, they, they sound pretty different to me, you know, in all honesty. Let, let's hear it with a little bit uh, less distortion real quick and then I'll, I'll get out of your guys' hair here for a second. Also, I think we need to address something <laughs> that is like, it gets people worked up in the videos. My hoodie, okay? I love this hoodie, it's my favorite hoodie. I realize it says 66 Camaro on it. I know the, the car guys, 67 is the first year, as far as the model. Now the Camaro came out in 66, late 66, middle 66, whatever it was, I can't remember the exact month, September or something like that, which would be the 67 model came out in 66. So I hope that we can all just come together, look past this, the Camaro came out in 66, 67 was the first model. I don't know what the shirt's referencing, it could just be re referencing when the Camaro came out, which was 1966. So, let's go back to the guitar stuff. So we got lighter distortion now. Who can name that riff? The Junior is just has a darker sound to it. I don't know, I'll link all the specs down below if you want to check them out, you totally can. Uh, again, thank you Travis for letting me borrow this guitar. And uh, I'll, I'll, you know, just kind of bounce around and end it bluesy Novo style, whatever that means. <laughs> just, why, was this, why does the guitar make me want to play like dark minor stuff? I don't get it. Bye guys.